What is going on guys, in today's video I will show you the best Diablo Immortal PvP tier list in 2024. So this game has a lot of unique classes to play, and a wide variety to choose from. But the big question is, what class is the best and can do the highest damage possible, and much more. So I've done a bunch of testing and here are the results. And before we get into it, a quick disclaimer is that this is my personal opinion on which class performs the best. It's worth mentioning that there are several builds available for each class, which could impact the performance and could slightly affect the tier list. And 10 out of 10 times, I would always bring the better player, not the better class. But if you're interested in the meta and pure performance numbers, then here they are. So then for the first class we have the Tempest, and I will place him right in the S tier. The Tempests are based around dual wielding blades, their abilities are themed around water and wind. This allows them to lash enemies in water whips, swirl around the targeted enemies, and even chap monsters, to dash through them for increased damage. Overall, this is a strength based class. When playing the Tempest, players have access to exclusive quests, and also they get a trial dungeon, which has pre-builds that allow players to test out various playstyles. The Tempest wears waterproof and lightweight armor, they chain in fighting upon waves and excel in blade dancing. They harness movement and elemental powers, as they unleash the Twin Edges, which are the wind and water blades of immense power, that harness the elements of the air and water. So then for the second class we have the Barbarian, which we will place right in the S tier. This is your typical melee fighter, that can destroy a bunch of grouped up enemies in few seconds. This class offers one of the most straightforward and easiest to handle experiences. As you might expect, the Barbarian is an absolute beast in combat, and he can dish out incredible amount of damage at close range. The Barbarian's first primary attack allows you to heal yourself every few hits, ensuring that the more you fight, the more you heal, especially when combined with the Undying Rage skill. Couple that with a great amount of area of effect sweeping attacks that can overcome almost any odd through sheer aggression and even anything at range can be pulled in with the chain spears or have their distance closed with a quick leap attack. Overall the Barbarian's gameplay is made around building up your fury by using melee attacks which then allows you to unleash strong AoE and single target abilities. And then for the last and final S tier class we have the Demon Hunter. They are experts at dealing high amounts of damage in ranged combat. Thanks to their offensive and defensive toolkits, they excel in dealing with loads of enemies, while keeping at a safe distance. By wielding two one-handed crossbows, the Demon Hunters are a great fit for players who love fast-paced ranged gameplay. Their glass cannon playstyle offers little room for mistakes, but greatly rewards optimal execution and strategy. They excel at range damage dealing, with both good AUB and single target enemies. So now let's move over to the A tier, and the first class that gets to be in here is the Blood Knight. This is a mid range class, with hybrid attack options that are either melee or ranged depending on your proximity to the target. The Blood Knight is very unique, with various skills having different effects depending on the player's proximity to the monster. They combine their mastery of the polearm with the supernatural strength and vampiric powers to overwhelm the demonic foot soldiers of the Burning House. The Blood Knights uses their power to locate bite victims and perform the ritual on them before they fully transform into a troll, but the speed at which you can kill your enemies will often kill them first before you can even steal their health. Then for the next A tier class we have the Crusader. This is the game tank class. They are usually in both group and solo play, and are good for supporting other players via their party wide damage and mitigation buffs. In PvP the Crusader has innate 30% reduction of incoming damage from the enemy players. This class is as well similar to the Barbarian, who chades in the pure damage output with a more safeguard approach of defensive combat. You may not be able to focus down enemies quite as fast, but the Crusader's bulky shield will keep you alive for a long time, and their bunch of ranged magic attacks can handle any threat out of reach of your sword. They also have an impressive amount of AOB attacks, that can both sweep through nearby enemies and hamper any target. Then for the next one we have the Necromancer, which I will put right in the A tier. This class specializes in medium to short range combat, 
by summoning undead minions and casting spells. They wield sights, ritual daggers or staffs in tandem with a shield. While the necromancers attack from range, their undead minions work on the front lines, making the necromancer ideal for solo play. And especially in PvP, the necromancer has innate 15% reduction of incoming damage from any enemy player. I would recommend to choose the necromancer if you relish in the practice of the dark arts by crushing bones with your grim will and sharpening it against your enemies by spilling blood in the calculated dosage to the empower your spells, all while raising massive hordes of the undead from their very graves. Then for one of the last classes we have the wizard, which I will place right in the B tier. This is a hard hitting ranged caster, who generally needs to be careful about being overwhelmed or being hit with a burst damage. There are some skills and builds which will make the wizard more sturdy, Sometimes these are referred as the battle mage builds. The wizard can enjoy unmatched mobility with the teleport skill. Their primary attacks are elemental in nature and often require precise aiming. They can use various crowd control skills to manage space and enemies. While they have strong damage and can do high AOV, they also have longer cooldowns than any other class. I would recommend to get this class for those who prefer to destroy their enemies at range. With mana no longer being a problem, you are able to unleash dazzling magic attacks that can tear through groups of enemies before they even reach you. Which is very important, because wizards have much lower HP than any other class in the game. So as long as you utilize skills like the teleport to get out of harm's way, you will be able to use magic to outrange any enemy you come across. And then for the last and final class we have the monk which deserves to be placed in the C tier. Monks are themed around the martial arts, which combine holy and elemental attacks. They normally use stonefasts or fists as their weapons of choice. The monk is a fast and agile melee fighter, who relies on combo strikes and mobility to defeat enemies. Specifically strong in a party, they are nevertheless capable of efficiency in solo play, provided that you use the right skills and equipment. The monk is challenging to play, because of the skill timing and combinations, but he offers a lot to the group. They can do great AOV and pull enemies together for convenient DPS, but unfortunately they're not the strongest class against the bosses. And that's about it. So if you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe and comment. And if you're interested in more content, then check out my channel. And I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, peace.